But don't worry, I did write something because I know you guys want to hear me talk. <laughs> Instead of a speech, I decided to write a poem for you all. And this poem is titled, Blink and You'll Miss It. Life is like a photo album. I open the cover and I'm transported back to a time when things were so simple. I am a round-faced, laughing baby, grabbing at anything I can get my hands on, content to sleep and eat and roll around on the floor. Life was so easy back then. Turn a few pages and all of a sudden, I'm headed off to my first day of kindergarten, still laughing, never still for long enough to get a good picture, running as fast as my little legs will take me, and dreaming of flying. Photo after photo, the pages filling up with years of memories, taking me through elementary and middle school, every first day of school, every spirit week and lost tooth, every new hairstyle and new friend, every test passed and birthday celebrated. I just wanted to keep on running to the next big moment. But mom was always there to stop me, wipe a smear off of my face, and take one more picture. I turned past pages of masked up six feet away photos from my eighth grade graduation and the following year of solitude with a shudder. And suddenly, I find myself standing outside of a massive glass walled school that will be my new home. And I'm terrified. I almost wish Mom would stop me this time, pull me back for one more photo because it's all moving so fast, and I don't know if I'm ready. But as I flip through the pages, that fear is replaced with love and belonging and little girl eagerness to see what comes next, captured in yearbook photos and selfies on my new friends' phones. The beginning of high school wasn't easy. I never really knew if I was going to pass Mr. Halkey's tests. <laughs> <laughs> That's so real. I never knew if I'd manage to stay awake during the first hour. I wasn't sure if we'd have to go back online. But it was okay. We all made it through. And as I turn to the next page, I almost laugh at myself because here is where I got a phone and the selfies start. I have more than a thousand selfies, which <laughs> now that I'm saying it out loud feels a little narcissistic, but I just don't want to forget. I want to remember the times when I felt beautiful, the days I experimented with a new makeup look, backstage rehearsal selfies. Selfies with my new friends who are becoming family. I want to remember every single moment. I selfied my way through junior year, through Miss Williams' never ending pile of homework. <laughs> Most of 
amazing people I've ever met. <laughs> and after today, it'll all be done. There's more pages in the album for all of us, pages that will fill with new places and new people. But today is the last page that will be ours. I can tell you all to go fill your own photo albums with amazing new things that you've created, but I don't have to tell you that, because you're already doing it. So instead, I'll tell you, when we walk out of here, diplomas in hand, cap and gown shining in the sun, smiles beaming, take a million photos. Remember today. Remember all the little moments that made you who you are. Take that photo, and don't blink, or you might miss it. Oh, yeah.